Ever wondered about the differences between bitmap and vector graphics in Scratch? Today, we're going to be looking into this topic. First, I'll talk about the tools you can use in each mode. Then we'll compare what each one is best and highlight some important features. So let's just start right off with some bitmap graphics. I created two versions of the same player character that I used in this video. And as you can see, the one in the left, so this one, is made with bitmap graphics and the one on the right uses vector graphics and you can already see some glaring differences so let's go to bitmap right here you just click this button and it says convert to bitmap and here we are okay let's just zoom out first you have a drawing tool it's just like a paintbrush that's even the icon and you can use it like this and just scribble around let me just draw a smiley face look at that then you have a line tool and yeah, it just creates a line. Pretty simple. Next, we have the two shape tools. So a circle, and we have two options. We can have it filled or outlined. And we have rectangle, which has the same options. And as you can see, if I just use my mouse, it'll look like this. But if I use shift, it'll be a perfect square or a perfect circle. And you can already see what's happening to this bitmap image. It's pretty pixelated. Next, we have the text tool and we have this array of options. Pretty small in my opinion, but whatever. So let's just go with sans serif, subscribe. And as you can see, first it looks normal, but when you click off, you can see it's pre pixelated. This is because bitmap graphics, there's an array of pixels that they have to follow, and sometimes they don't look great. So for text, I would opt for vector, except of course if you want it to be like super stylized. There is also the eraser tool for erasing parts of your drawing, so let's just erase this text and look at that, it's gone. And we also have the film tool, let's just give it a nice a vibrant red color and there it is. Last but not least we got the select tool, so you can see we can select part of the circle or we can select everything. And this is not a feature in vector. Now we're done with our bitmap tools, let's convert to vector again. So you can see with a mouse again which can select but for example if i draw a circle again like this i can't just select this portion i have to select the whole object this tool is only in vector and you can see there's one more tool in vector compared to bitmap and it's this one so you can take these vertices and you can just shape the round and you can get some pretty cool looking shapes like this it looks like a sound wave and the rest of the tools are just like in bitmap we have the scribble we have erase, we have the fill tool. Now the thing about the fill tool is if we use it right now, if we just click on the blank, nothing happens. But if you convert to bitmap, because it can't get larger than this area, it just fills it out in purple. So if you want to fill something out, just go to bitmap. And the rest is also the same. As I said, the text looks better in vector, as you can see, no pixels. Even if you zoom in super far, you can see it's still silky smooth. Now, after seeing this, you might be thinking, why would I ever use bitmap? I mean, it's useless, you can't even have text, it doesn't have the reshape tool, nothing. But, there's one thing that makes bitmap shine. I mean, sometimes bitmap can be used to make animations, which look pretty cool, but that's not the main reason why people use bitmap. The most important thing people use bitmap for is pixel art. So back in the old days, video games had to be made with pixel art, for example, Mario, Tetris, Sonic all those old games but after technology progressed and you could even make like 3d games like gta people still use pixel art because they just like the look of it so how do you make pixel art with bitmap let's convert to bitmap and zoom in super far so like that and because bitmap is with pixels you can see i have one individual pixel and i can make pixel art with it pretty cool sometimes for some people pixel art is actually easier and that's also the case for me and it can look pretty good in this example i showed earlier you can see the original pixel art character and the vector character and i personally prefer the pixel art character on the other hand vector graphics offer their own perks that make them ideal for different types of projects so they can look pretty clean and if you want a sleek ui or something futuristic or just like an animation, I think you should probably use Vector. So depending on what you want to create, both of these have their own strengths and weaknesses. 
And if you want to see how much I changed from when I first started making videos, then you can click on the OG video right here.